Floyd Mayweather's TMT fighter, Tank Davis, going up against the champion, Jose Pedraza. What up, fight world? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Back with my original segment, Boxing Ego's First Look, a tale of the tape, a sneak peek, a preview of the fight before the fight. Now, I'm looking forward to this card. It's taking place at the Barclays Center, Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to all my BK East Coast people. And you have two undefeated fighters who are looking to make a statement and maybe even steal the main event. Main event is also a very good fight, which I will do a Boxing Ego first look on as well. And that's another TMT fighter, Badu Jack, WBC champion, going up against the IBF champion, James DeGale, in a unification. But the co-main event, before we get to that, is Gervonta Tank Davis stepping in and stepping up in competition, stepping in as the challenger to face Puerto Rico's Jose Pedraza, who is the IBF champion. Now, this is a big leap up in competition as far as who Tank Davis has currently fought. He's looked good, he's looked sensational, he's a southpaw, nasty uppercuts. They're saying that he is the next Floyd Mayweather. He did a recent interview where Tank Davis said that he wants to follow in the footsteps of Mayweather. This is a step in that direction. You want to follow in the footsteps of your mentor and your protege, you're getting a title shot. He's been wanting it for a while. So this is time to put up or shut up. Or as Gervonta says on his Instagram, it's strap season. So definitely a step up in class. You look at it. Anytime you're fighting an undefeated fighter, you have to deal with that. Because undefeated fighters don't know how to lose. Or at least as a pro, as a professional, they haven't lost. So you have to get them in the mindset of, of losing them. You got to stop them beat them down, break their will, different things like that. And that's harder than somebody who just lost their last fight or has several knockout losses or whatever the situation is because they know what it takes. And some people, they're like, man, I already lost before. I've already been knocked out. You know what I mean? So the confidence is stripped. But now you have two undefeated fighters. It's a great co-main event. And even in the main event, they're both once beaten. And their current champions, Unification. So shout out to Mayweather Promotions, TMT, Premier Boxing Champions, Showtime for getting this one done. I'm really looking forward to it. As far as champion Jose Pedraza, he has a very solid resume. I think this is impressive that he has a win over Tevin Farmer. He fought him back in 2012. Tevin Farmer's my dude. He's since rebuilt his career. He was learning on the job at the time he fought Pedraza, but we still see how good Farmer has turned out to be. He beat guys like Ivan Redcatch, and he's, he's looking to step up. He sparred with Lomachenko. Tevin Farmer has sparred with Jason Sosa, who has a belt now, too. So, all in all, Tevin Farmer is a great name because we've seen how good he, he can become. At the time he fought Pedraza, maybe he wasn't ready because Pedraza stopped him in that particular fight. So, that's a, that's a credible name. It's just like Antonio Margarito... He stopped Sergio Martinez, and Martinez went on to do great things for his career. So even if Martinez wasn't ready or he, he wasn't ready to face someone the caliber, it's still a name who went on to do good things in their own personal career. And you could say, hey, I beat that guy. I stopped him. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Other names, he beat Michael Farinas, who dropped Gamboa in their fight, even though he lost the fight. So heavy-handed fighter. He has wins over Edner Cherry. Now, that was I watched that fight. It was like the co-main event, I think, on Showtime. I got to watch it again, but I think I had him losing that fight. It was a close fight. It was a competitive fight, but I thought he might have lost that particular one. But on paper, he won the fight via split decision. And then he just fought recently before Tank Davis. His, his opponent was Steven Smith, who just fought champion Jason Sosa and gave him a very competitive fight and he has a unanimous decision win so this is a battle tested champion like he's been in there with some good names from farmer to edner cherry to farinas stephen smith you know what i mean he has he has a lot more names than than tank davis on his resume and this is going to be interesting because there's also some things i want to talk about when i get to the teletape like the height and we're going to see how tough this kid from baltimore is it's going to be interesting it's kind of like like a broner type of situation if you will if you look at it where broner he was he was on the fast track to success they were saying he's the next mayweather the next pay-per-view star jumped up had a competitive fight 
with Pauli Malignaggi, split decision win, became a champion, and then he bit off more than he could chew, fought Chino, Marcos Maidana, and it just wasn't, um, it wasn't his night, you know what I mean, and he got knocked down off the ladder and had to deal with taking the first ever professional loss, so I'm anxious to see how Tank Davis looks in there because this is clearly the best name and it's a title shot, so things could get really, really interesting and it should be an explosive fight and full credit to whoever wins this fight. Both guys are undefeated. They're both putting something at risk. They're both under 30 and I just want to see it. May the best man win. Now let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Champion Jose Pedraza has a record of 22 and 0. Gervonta Tank Davis has a record of 16 and 0. Both unbeaten. Somebody's O has to go. Now the age Gervonta is youthful. He is 22 years old, very young, and Pedraza is 27, so the five-year age difference. Now, this could be a difference. Those five years could be experience, but then you also have, you can't count the youthful fighters out because at the same time, they're hungry. They, they don't know how to lose either, and, and they want to prove to the world what they're capable of. So youth is not always a benefit. Sometimes the, the wisdom and experience can get you to the next level and push you through a fight but then sometimes the youth does play a part so I'm anxious to see which one of those two things it will be now another very interesting statistic is the height Jose Pedraza is five eight and a half and Gervonta Tank Davis is five six so definitely the height advantage is going to the champion this is taking place at 130 pounds which is also a pop in division you got guys who moved up like Vasil Lomachenko and other names Nicholas Walters Jason Sosa so you got some pretty good names at the division for future fights and the reach advantage also goes to Pedraza who has a 70 and a half inch reach Gervonta has a reach of 69 inches both guys have respectable pop and snappy power and it's going to be an explosive Mayweather promotions card on Showtime Barclays brand new state-of-the-art arena and I'm really looking forward to this and the main event between Badu Jack and James DeGale. You guys drop your fight predictions below. Let me know who will win. Is this too early for Gervonta Davis to be getting a, a fight with a seasoned veteran who has more experience than him? Or is it Tank Davis's time to shine and the training with Mayweather and stuff, will it pay off? You guys let me know that in the comments section. Drop all your thoughts and fight predictions below. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.